so until everyone comes home. In other news this morning, Beyonce and Jay-Z are in Cincinnati right there. They're the proud parents of a daughter. Her name is Blue Ivy Carter, a bouncing baby girl born over the weekend. Then there's a lawsuit by a 40-year-old actress who says that the IMDb website ruined her career by telling how old she is. And what is it about singer Adele that just makes people want to cry when they hear some of her music? Here to talk about all of that and more is Grammy Award winning singer Melissa Etheridge. So nice to have you here today. What a pleasure. Oh, this feels one. great. Yeah. We love hearing love that. Yeah, it feels really good. Did you notice the music that we bumped in with? That was oh, a Melissa it. Etheridge well, ditty. No, thank you. A ditty. Yes. yes did you notice you. that? I did. I loved it. Thank you. So I'm so thrilled you're here. This is what's so cool about you, Melissa. You have nothing to promote. You just wanted no. to join in the conversation of the big news certainly in New York and it's making national news it's one of the number thing number one things on Twitter Beyonce had a baby girl Yay. over the weekend and there's all sorts of talk about how much was paid in the hospital and the security you've had yeah. four children I have Do you understand this the need for this type of security as a celebrity um, when you're dealing with a pregnant woman yeah it's you know there's a lot of uh, emotion and feeling and, and intensity and you want uh, protection and we were able to, in, in all three instances that uh, have had a baby, that, that we were able to uh, have, have it safe enough. We didn't have to buy out the whole floor, but um, there are hospitals who are used to doing this, and they have protocol and the things right. that they do. Yeah, and there was some talk, too, guys, about whether they bought out the whole floor, whether it was <laughs> $1.3 million. You know, you start hearing all these figures, but they have not officially spoken. And there was a father who said that he was denied access to his own children. Uh -huh. I'm thinking Beyonce and Jay-Z would never want that. Yeah. I would think it would be up to the hospital to make sure that parents can see their children when they're born. Yeah, a lot of times uh, what happens, a celebrity can get blamed for choices mm -hmm. that other people other may. Other people may, and it's yes. unfortunate. And it's unfortunate. You don't want to keep anybody away from their child, no. celebrity or no, not. No, no, no. But we are, we are very happy for them. There's this other story out there, an actress suing IMDb for a million dollars, saying that because they revealed her age, she lost out on a number of roles. She's 40 years old. How prevalent and how real do you think ageism is in Hollywood? Is 40 a bad age? No. Good yeah. Lord, I'm 50. 40 what the heck? Yeah, I'm like, 40? There you go. Awesome. You've got many good years yeah. to go. I don't think so. I've, always, I've, 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 I've been the, the woman who has decided not to blame it on being a woman, mm -hmm. not to blame it on being gay, not to blame it on my age. You present the world with your talent, with what you do, and if you spend the time blaming mm -hmm. something else, then that's where you're going to be. You're just going to be the person who didn't get the part because I'm too old. Mm -hmm. No, be the person who got the part because, because no matter good. what age, you're good, yeah. mm -hmm. I think. And let's talk about Adele for a second. Oh, let's do Because her voice, I'm, I'm so amazed, Melissa, that she's 24, 25, and the song that drives everybody to tears is this one that we're playing now. And I didn't realize this until I read it, that it's one of the few songs where it's just her voice and a piano. And that it's, you know, I, I had to listen to it again. I'm thinking there's no other instrument in this, no. just her voice and a piano. I oh. loved it. When I heard this song, the, I heard this song on the radio, uh -huh. I jumped for joy because Did it you? said, I love that people, even in 2011, 2012, we embrace the natural organic music still. I think a, a human soul wants to hear a voice, a song, an emotion, a, uh, with a piano, with, with yeah. one that I love that that can still be the most popular music in the world today. You mentioned soul. She is oh. so soulful, especially at such a young age. Mm -hmm. The songs that she writes are clearly just an outpouring of emotion. I was talking to a friend who said, you know, in some ways it feels like so much of music has kind of jumped the shark at this point. It's so produced, <laughs> so much about the production. Yeah. And they were saying, I think that's one of the reasons she is so attractive to so many people. People are ready for this. I, I believe it. Even my children. I have teenagers, uh -huh. and they know everything. You're Teenagers. <laughs> What's the age range of your kids? Oh my gosh, I have, what? I have four children. I have two five year olds, the twins, You're and twins. Then I have 13 and soon to be 15 in a couple weeks. And your health is good? Yeah. Yes. You get tired of people asking about your health every time. No, oh, so are you okay? no, no. People do. They, they look at me and, and they really want to know how it's I true. am. And really I say I'm fine and cancer free. I'm actually healthier than I've ever, ever been. Then you look where you want to be. Thanks for coming. Oh, thank you so much. Good luck. It looks great. Come thank back you. and visit us again soon. I will. My pleasure. Uh, we should mention, too, Melissa Effort will be going out on tour again in Europe next month, so put that on your calendar. Uh, now, all of the CBS morning hosts over the years, uh, there's probably only one who also starred in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. One of my personal favorites. What are you doing? We'll meet Dick Van Dyke when we're you're watching CBS This Morning. Hey, baby girl.